Honoring first responders, the Virginia Proud Weather Tour, sponsored by your neighborhood subway location. Welcome back to stop number eight on the Virginia Proud Weather Tour. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Stop eight has taken us to beautiful Floyd here in Floyd County where the weather is cooperating. This is uh, probably the warmest day we've had in our eight stops. Temperatures likely in the uh, mid to upper 70s here in Floyd. Now I want to show you what it looks like out in Blacksburg on the Virginia Tech Skycam. And you'll notice just like what we're seeing here in Floyd, we do have some clouds around. Uh, but the amount of blue sky certainly has increased here over the last 12 to 18 hours. Well, yesterday was gloomy. Yesterday was just cloudy. Today we are at least seeing a little more sun. And because of the sun, those temperatures have responded. It is in the 70s for the most part, although a few folks are in the 80s. Uh, again, temperatures have warmed up very nicely, and it looks like we'll have that warm air in place for one more day tomorrow, although probably not as warm uh, tomorrow as where we got up to today. The 24 hour temperature change is significant. We are anywhere between 13 and 25 degrees warmer right now than we were just 24 hours ago. So again, it is uh, borderline hot out here today, some would say, and it's certainly a little muggier as well. The regional satellite and radar composite showing that we do have a few showers north of us, a pretty significant storm system up in areas north and west of us, and really that uh, line of showers and thunderstorms to the northwest is kind of riding the same rain train that is overhead for us, so that is why we're looking at more instability over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours. Future tracker showing that Wednesday at 11 o'clock, that's again this evening, uh, we will have the chance for maybe a, a stray shower or thunder shower. I do think that the chance for rain increases very late tonight into tomorrow morning. Maybe a break midday. This is around 2.30 in the afternoon, and a lot of the rain will be in areas north of us. The warm front actually is going to lift to the north and then come back down to the south over the next uh, 48 hours or so. So Thursday at 2.30, a lot of the rain will be up in, uh, say, Harrisonburg, uh, areas near Stanton, Winchester, our nation's capital. And then I think the chance for rain will increase as we head into Thursday evening yet again. We will have scattered showers and thunderstorms on Thursday evening, perhaps spreading into the overnight. Now the severe risk on Thursday is a little bit elevated. Almost everybody's under a marginal risk with even a few spots, say towards Hot Springs, Covington, Clifton Forge, and Newcastle, in a slight risk for severe weather. Main two threats would be damaging wind and large hail. Uh, the best timing for that would likely come very late in the day into the evening hours. Future tracker in the rainfall department showing that we are likely to pick up anywhere between one to three inches of rain from now all the way through Saturday. So uh, over the course of the next uh, couple of days, we're really going to have to watch the chance for some flooding and the chance also for some flash flooding. We'll keep an eye on those river levels as well. All right, I want to show you future tracker tomorrow as far as temperatures are concerned. I, it's interesting because all three of us, uh, Jonathan Allen and I were in the weather center today uh, looking at the computer models and frankly, the computer models for the day tomorrow have temperatures all over the place. And you'll notice that there's a little hump of warmth, say from Patrick County up into Roanoke County into Botetourt County through Smith Mountain Lake South into Southside. Notice Lynchburg, Lexington, Hot Springs, Whitville, you're going to be in the 70s. But there's that warm front that is bisecting where the cooler air is to the north from where the warmer air is to the south. And where that warm front sets up tomorrow is key to your forecast because if you're south of the warm front, you're going to be pretty warm, arguably hot tomorrow. So your forecast for tonight, we are looking at the chance for a stray thunder shower. Overnight lows in the lower 60s. Highs tomorrow in the upper 70s. We will have a better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. We are looking at, uh, I think, a day tomorrow where we're going to be mainly cloudy. Uh, your Virginia Tech graduation is happening on Friday. And and uh, we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 50s for the graduation. And you're also looking at the chance for some passing showers as well with an east wind at around 5 to 10. I will tell you that after warm days today and tomorrow, temperatures are going to cool off big time on Friday. And you'll see that on your extended forecast. Highs Friday near 60, middle 60s on Saturday with a continued chance for some rain. The good news is by Mother's Day, we're going to dry things out and turn things warmer. 77, we're 80 or above as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. The good news is also on the... Uh, uh, weather front here is uh, from Mother's Day on, at least for the early to middle part of the next work week, we'll have a chance to dry out and see more sunshine. But again, we're really going to have to watch out for the potential for more flooding over the course of the next couple of days. Reporting live here in Floyd County, I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Back to you, John and Lindsay.